Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Police Quest 3, The Kindred. Uh, we're back at work on day 3. I, I think it's day 3. Yeah, it was, because we went to see Marie and then we went back home again, didn't we? Um, so, another day of work beckons, another day of investigating the attackers, but we might have a bit of a lead. Why is the little loading cursor thing going on? Uh, so we're in this office now, aren't we? Homicide, so I almost went into the old office. Let's, um... Afternoon, Bonds. I was just on my way to the locker room. I'll be back in a minute if you need me. Okay. You do that. I'm not sure why you needed to tell us that. Is is she doing something dodgy? Uh, he's just near the fire. Can we like look at her? Her stuff. I, I don't really want to do that just in case she comes back. Uh, your desk is near the filing cabinet. This is your computer. Um, is there anything in the basket? It looks like there might be. You pick up and read the message. Bonds, a Carla Reed called for you. Said she saw the newspaper article about Marie. Better get on over there. I think she may have something for you. Strange address though. 325 South 2nd Street. That's the old industrial park. 325 south second street okay so it's industrial park industrial park i'm glad it doesn't skip the dialogue oh, where on earth is that going to be on the map okay we've got points for that anyway um desk is near the filing cabinet can we do anything on the computer let's let's see Anything new? Should we like review the case file and see if anything new's been added to it? Uh, DMV homicide. Uh, review case. So it was one nine nine, one four four. So let's just see if that evidence we submitted yesterday has been added to the case. I'm hoping that it would have been. Uh, yep, serial. Oh yeah, look, evidence analysis. It has been. Fantastic. Although there's nothing on this screen for that, which is a bit weird. All right. Well, um, <clears throat> I guess the only lead we have is to to do this thing. Let's go and meet this person at 325 South Second Street. Why is it a weird address, though? I don't. I don't really understand why that's a weird address. Let's get our map up anyway. We'll press this button. I'll get my map up on my uh, thing here. South 325 South 2nd Street. What on earth is that? South 2nd Street. 325. Uh, 325 South 2nd Street. Okay, I think I know where that is. There's like a 300S. Which I'm guessing is 300 south, so 325 would be slightly south of that, and then second. So it looks like it's roughly southwest from the police station. If I'm reading this, oh, we wanted to go to ground. I, I don't know if. Here's the thing, right? I don't know if. Morella's telling us she was going to the locker room was like a thing that we needed to like search her desk while she was gone or whether we needed to investigate what she was doing or whether that was literally just making conversation. Um, I get the feeling things don't happen by accident in this game but I don't, I don't really want to you know do too much in terms of you know being suspicious so um, heading 325 south 2nd street I mean, that's the way I'm going to freehand it, but honestly, that's a really weird address. So yeah, it looks like we want to go down from here. Or we want to go to 2nd Street. Wait for me, Sonny. Why is she coming with us? Okay, 14.06. We're heading off. Okay, let's write that down. 14.06. So we're going southbound on 6th. Sonny, this Carla Reed lives on 325 South 2nd. That's not a residential area. This better not be someone's idea of a joke. 325 South 2nd? That's just a bunch of old abandoned warehouses. Fantastic. Um, so we're going southbound on... I just want to sort of weigh up where we're going here. 
So we want to go to sort of like this line, like about here, I think we're going to, 325, maybe around here. So if we keep going south, that should be fine until we get to like, I don't know, like the bottom. It's probably easiest to go to the bottom of the map and then take a right. So I think there should probably be a stop sign coming up shortly. Yeah, okay, let's, let's slow down. Okay, and then we want to go right. And then we want to follow this all the way until I think this line here, this one, I think, this one, I think that's first and that's second. Oh, is it going to tell us? It might be quite handy if it does actually. Third. Okay, yeah, so we want to go to second, I think. If I'm reading this right, I mean, I don't, I, this address is very odd. Right, so second. Did, oh God, I thought, I thought the car wasn't going to stop there. Okay, so where is this address? Because this should be about... I mean, if I'm reading this right, 300... This is 400, I think. 400 south, and then 300 south. So, like, somewhere here? Is this where we need to be? Let's see if we can get out here. Oh yeah, we can, look. Okay, so, I think I read it right, nice. Okay, warehouse at 1437. Okay, let's, uh, this place looks dodge. It's a large trash bin for the warehouse. Uh, some sort of pipes, there's some sort of, is that a body in there or is that a homeless person? I tell you what, we're gonna, we're gonna prep the gun just in case, um, just in case we need to use it. All right, let's, um, loading docks is littered with trash. Rusty shopping cart is loaded down with junk, so that could be a homeless person and all this stuff, right? The shape of that pile of newspapers looks vaguely familiar. Uh, should we, can we call out? Please tell me this isn't like an ambush. What? Who? Who's that? What do you want? Uh, who the hell are you? I don't talk to no strangers. Uh, okay. I mean, who are we? We're police, I guess. Is that... Notebook, computer access card. Does the notebook prove that we're police? I, d I don't know if we're, like, in the way here. No. Okay. What, what do we actually have? Oh, unless, is that? Hang on. Maybe we do show this? Yeah, here we go. I think we do. Ma'am, I'm Detective Sonny Bonds of the Litton Police Department. Yeah, so what do you want from me? I ain't done nothing to nobody. You called and said you saw something at the Oak Tree Mall last night. I'd like you to come downtown with me and help us out. Maybe give us a description. Oh, I'd love to go riding in one of them real-life squad cars. Okay, just help me put my stuff in my car. Ma'am, I'm sorry, there's not enough room in the trunk for your cart, so you'll have to leave it here. What? Leave my stuff? Oh, no! I can't very well just up and leave my stuff. Ugh, okay, bring the stuff. She's adamant. I ain't going nowhere without my cart. Now, do you see how tough it is to find one with wheels that don't wobble? Okay, I mean, should we... It wouldn't fit in your car. I mean, what do we do then? Wouldn't fit in a car. She's adamant. The last time I left my car alone for two seconds, I had a year's worth of Cosmo stolen. Uh, I mean... Can we... Hang on, you stay here. Let's see if there's anything else going on around here. Well, maybe there is isn't. Unless dispatch is some place for you to go, you better stick around and do sergeant stuff. All right, we'll stick around and do sergeant stuff, don't worry. Um, I mean, can we, like, make room in the car? 
I mean, usually when we like walk away, the game's like, oh, you decided to not do anything, so you've got a game over. Um, how are we gonna? How are we gonna do this? Is there anything over here? Okay, no. And let's dispatch us some place for you to go. You better. Okay, so, I mean, how are we gonna do this? It definitely can't fit in the car, right? How are we going to stop people stealing stuff? Is that horn sound the road, or is that Morales just beeping the horn? Can we talk to Morales about this? No. Nope. Try to convince her that she's adamant. I mean... It wouldn't fit in the car. Manhandling the bag lady is not going to solve anything. <laughs> okay. I mean, I wasn't planning on doing that. Can we... Showing your badge again doesn't make her any more impressed. Alright, do we literally have anything we can use here? Can we, like... Wouldn't fit in your car. Wouldn't fit in your car. Have we, like, missed something? No. Okay. Can we, like, cuff it? Oh, we can cuff it. Are we going to, like, cuff it to the car? Oh, we're going to cuff it to that. You decide to soothe the old gal by securing her cart with your handcuffs. That's the ticket, sonny boy. Let's go. Yeah, but that's not going to stop people from stealing the things in it. it. Might stop them from... from actually taking the cart itself. I need to sit and rest my aching bones, kiddo. You do that. Uh, okay, right. Anyway, let's save again, because we're back at the station now. Fine, let's, uh, interviewing lady. Right, uh, I suppose we talk. I ain't eaten in so long, my taste buds have amnesia. Oh, God, do we have, do we have food for her? Is there anything in our drawers? Is, is there even anywhere to get food in here? What's this? Probably someone's lunch. I mean, <laughs> we could we could maybe steal someone's lunch and give it to her, but that seems like a bad idea. Let's just see if we can... You wouldn't happen to have any caviar on you, would you? Smoked salmon, canned tuna, a fish stick maybe? No. If I don't get some food soon... Say, is it getting dark in here? I, I feel faint. Uh, okay, I mean, can we call for food? If you don't have a reason to call, don't you? I mean, I'm trying not to get food. I mean, I don't really want to steal a colleague's food. That seems like a bad idea, but... Uh... Should we do it? I mean, I feel like we've got to do it, honestly. Let's do it. You grabbed the lunch. I mean, we can always reimburse our colleague, I suppose. You give the lunch to the lady. This was that like sort of thing that's going to give us a bad end into the game, by the way. Peanut butter and jelly. You guys are real gourmets, ain't you? Thanks. No, oh, she's eating it. You asked Miss Reed what to tell you exactly what she saw at Oak Tree Mall that that night. Mrs. Reed, please just stick to the incident with the man. Out of nowhere comes this big side of beef type guy. Rams right into me, he does. You'd think an old lady like me'd get a little respect. I don't ask for much. A dry spot to lay my newspapers. A few modest handouts. Uh. Carla, I really need you to finish telling me about the man who knocks you down. So I socks him right on his leg, like to have broken my hand, I did. And him, he just grins at me right in the face. His ugly mug just grins at me like devil or something. Okay. I mean... Speaking of traumatic experiences, my ex-husband was a stockbroker on Wall Street. Now there's a horror story for you. Speaking of big, ugly, hairy, smelly brutes, have you heard the one about the gynecologist and the gorilla? Uh, I mean, is she actually going to give us any information other than, are we just going to gab? I, I, honestly, I don't know. Like, do we need to use the computer? Oops. I, I, the amount of times I click that by mistake is ridiculous. Can we do anything on here? Tools. Is there anything under tools? 
And maybe we can do a drawing composite. Now, if you would give a general description. Oh, okay, let's... Ah. Uh, oh. I tried to save there, and of course the game's like, oh, you press the button, we skip the dialogue, so now we're going to have to load. Fantastic. Let's do this again. Okay, give the lunch to the lady. Peanut butter and jelly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's talk. So she doesn't say anything useful. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Now we'll save. Okay, let's try this again. Right, so, tools. Drawing composite. I'm going to see if I can like write this down while we go. If you give me a general description. Okay, mean looking fella, dark and hairy. Hawkish nose. I mean, how am I supposed to... How am I supposed to write that down that quickly? I mean, that's just crazy. Can we, can we like ask, ask her to repeat it? I mean, come on. It's just silly. At least let us advance a dialogue by clicking. No. Yeah, I mean, I, honestly, I feel like this is one of those moments where the dialogue should just not advance until we click it. So. So, hawkish nose. Uh, sharp beady eyes, leery brow. Sharp beady eyes. Leerish brow. I mean, what does that even mean? How, how am I going to recreate a face from that? All right, well, um, is this even changing anything? What does this do? Nothing seems to be happening. Oh, okay. Um, so, fine. How do we do beady eyes? How the heck do we do beady eyes? Are they beady eyes? <laughs> Them's beady, but too far apart. Ah, okay. So, she actually responds to to what you say. Are, are these beady enough? Can you even... The eyes look okay. Right, fine. Fine. Hawkish nose. At least she gives us a bit of a... A sort of heads up on if we're doing it right. Is that hawkish? Not really, is it? The nose is a little too low. Okay. I oh, see, this is like a vertical thing. This is quite fun, actually. Is 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 that better? Is 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 that better? I mean, as a a hawkish nose, I'm guessing would be like quite pointy, right? Like that. The nose looks okay. Fantastic. All right. Lips. I d could be. He sure looked mean. Okay. I mean, she seems okay with that. That'll do for starters. Uh, I mean, I feel like she's just... That makes him look kind of alien, don't you? I mean, just tell us if we got the right... He had a little arch to his brow. How do we do an arch? A little arch to his brow. Like that. Did I say he had shrubs of his eyes? Change it. Oh, God. this, Like that. A tad bit more arch than brows, Sonny. Okay, so they're like quite... um, Like that. Is, is, is that it? The brow is a little too high. Okay, let's drop it down. Is that is that it? Is, is, is that it? Is, is that it? <laughs> oh my god, this is... Uh, do you know what? I, I kind of enjoy it though, I've got to say. It's, it's, it's a nice little touch to be doing this, actually. Is, is that it? <laughs> I mean, I, I feel like that could mostly be it. A tad bit more arch. 
Yeah, I mean, I, I gave you the arched ones. The brow looks okay. Eee, okay, sharp, hawkish, leerish brow. I mean, what about hair? The hair's too straight, it was kind of wavy. Okay. Wavy hair, like that. Did I say it's sissy hair? Change it. Oh god, this lady is very impatient. You mean like that? He looks like a rock star. I'm guessing not then. That's close, I think. Okay. The hair is way too low. Like that. So if we do like this one, that's close, I think. I mean, she's not filling me with confidence. The hair's too straight, it was kind of wavy. All right, so we need wavy hair. That is wavy hair. That's close, I think. Okay, I mean... So if it's, if it's close, I mean, she's just saying that for like every single height. The hair looks okay, there we go. Oh man, that dropped a little bit. Fine, and a beard? He had a full beard, okay, fine, a full beard. Like that? That's a full beard, the beard looks okay. All right, so the hair looks okay. Brows, brow looks okay. Mouth, could be, he sure looked mean. Like that, you mean? Now, there's a sour one, Sonny. All right, so it could be that one. Looks like someone gave him a fat lip. He didn't have lips as full as those, so he had slightly thinner lips. I don't care if they're women's lips. No, too full, he had a tight mouth. That's not it. Okay. Hmm, I don't think so. I don't know, could be. That just doesn't look right to me. Okay. Too sweet of a mouth. Them's a little too precious for this thug. The mouth is a little too far to the left. Is that better? I mean, I'm moving it pretty far right. I mean, is she, is she actually gonna say anything? So brows look okay. Mouth looks okay. Nose looks okay. Eyes look okay. So this, yeah, his face looks right. Okay. okay. So, search? Is that what we do now? <gasps> That's the rummy! The one there in the middle. I'd never forget this mean looking mug. Okay, interesting. <gasps> Steve Rocklin. Steve Rocklin. Fine. Right, he's number 4930027. Uh, his address is 214. Pigeon Court, Gibbon, USA. Okay. Convicted of two counts of burglary, sentenced to five years in state penitentiary, paroled, and is currently serving three years probation. No wants. Rocklin associates with, and at one time was known to be a member of the cult, Sons of Darkness. Let's write that down. Sons of Darkness. It's suspected the cult deals in the sale of crack cocaine. Huh. Very interesting. This could be our guy. All right. Well, that is uh, helpful. Let's save. So we, we know who this suspect could be. Um, so Steve Rocklin. Identified Steve 
Rocklin. All right then, guys. I'll tell you what. Uh, we've gone over quite a bit, but I wanted to get that done. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to our patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Tamily Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous Coumadin, and Paul Leone. And I'll see you next time.